Well, hello there, and uh, welcome back to another episode of Firewatch. So last episode, we ended up having to, I think, having to describe our amazing body to uh, what's her face over there? Oh, Delilah. Yeah, I can actually see her. <laughs> That's cool. I never really noticed that. You. I love this zooming uh, ability, though. It's very neat. Neat. So yeah, I think one of our up, uh, objectives are right now to collect some firewood, so let's head on down here. Oh yeah, we needed some more wood to uh, patch up our window. Now I remember. But before we get into that, there is something I want to do real quick. I want to see if I can find that canola bar. <laughs> So, um, I gotta think back to the first episode and see which direction we went into. Let's see here, uh, maybe it was this way? I don't know. No, it doesn't really look familiar. Ooh, it's another drop off over here? No, it's nothing. Hmm. Let's see here. Which direction did we come from? Ah, screw it. Maybe we'll stumble across it later. You know, I'm pretty sure we're gonna have to run in that direction again. Where's my tower? There it is. <laughs> Let's see here. So, firewood. Well, not firewood. What is this? Oh, some water. Very nice. Let's see here. Whereabouts should we get some wood? Do we just chop a random tree? Like this one? Nope. Maybe over by the outhouse. Actually, remember the word this time. Ah, here we go. That's one. Okay, so it looks like we just got a walk around and see if we can find some. Fair enough. Uh, prepare to point? Let's see here. Take a quick peek here. Okay, yeah, this is that uh, drop down that we had last time. I wonder if there's any point to exploring the area. Probably not. Maybe there's. Who knows? Alright, where are these ports? There's gotta be more around here somewhere. Ah, here's another one. Uh, Cinnablock? Yeah. Ah, here we go. Sweet. Oh, one more over here. Don't mind if I do. Might as well grab everything that we see. Amazing. Let's go fix a little broken window. And then we're probably gonna have to off to another adventure. Hopefully. Uh, board up. And one more. I got that window all patched up. So, what should I do now? What's next? What's next? What do you think is next? Well, you've been you the one giving me. me tasks for two days straight. What's next is you sit in that room until September 1st and call me at the first sign of smoke. Oh, yeah. Why don't you let me know when you're mentally prepared for that task and uh, I'll give it to you. <laughs> I guess we see if we say ready to work, we will probably uh, skip ahead in time, most likely. At least that's what I'm guessing. So, do we want to do that? Yeah, let's just go for it. 
Okay, I think I am ready to tackle my long-term commitment of keeping this national forest safe from total destruction. <laughs> I am glad to hear you've really thought this through. Of course. of course. We've issued you a comfy chair to sit in and everything. You know, it's not really that comfy. I mean, it's wooden and there's no padding. I think I actually got a splinter in my thigh this morning. Aww. Well, regardless, take a seat. The forest depends on you. Oh, yep, there we go. <laughs> Day nine. Hello, Henry. Having a nice afternoon? Yeah, it's beautiful over here. Not too bad. I could get used to it out here. That's nice. Look, um, I called with bad news. Two young women, Chelsea Stevens and Lily McLean, were reported missing. They've got parents out in California who haven't heard from them in a week. They were supposed to meet an aunt down in Cody. If they're the girls from last week, then you're probably the last person to have seen them. Oh no. Uh, you should tell whoever that I'm happy to be questioned. Look, it's not going to be an issue. Uh, I mean, if, if they turn up dead, then maybe. Should I just not say anything and save us the trouble? Uh... I don't know. I'm going to take your silence as maybe we just don't say anything. All right, Henry, thanks. Enjoy the sunset. Thank you. Oh, skipping ahead again. <laughs> oh, but if you if you're hearing some weird noises, it's my uh, it's my bird. Henry, wake up! <laughs> Got a parrot that likes to make uh, all kinds of Get weird noises. And, pick up the radio. and since I live in front of a school, it's even more annoying because he likes to imitate them and all it com all it comes across is just weird noises. <laughs> yeah, it's alright. I thought I patched up the window. Oh, I did. It's a little bit dark. Light switch? Lip. E. There we go. Alright, I wasn't paying attention to what Delilah was saying. Um, I guess we just head out? What do you want? Big dumb idiot. Hi. Wait, what? Julia? Hi, Jules. Oh, you sound tired. Hmm, I am. Are you having a nice time? No, oh, that just gave me goosebumps. <laughs> I wasn't expecting that. Sure. Are you? Everything good there? Jules? What? Oh, sorry, Henry. Yeah, I'm good. Oh, well, that's good. Well, I'll let you get back to sleep then. We'll talk a little bit more. Okay, Jules. Delilah seems nice. Mm-hmm, sure. Bye, baby. Oh. I guess he's still struggling with her uh, disease. Is it too much of a pain in the ass to bring supplies all the way up to our towers? Well, I get my stuff hand delivered. Oh, how's that work? It's the perks of a decade of service. You're out hiking in 90 degree heat, and I get to do crosswords. Isn't life miserably unfair? Anyway, when you find the supply drop, remember it's not just for you, okay? Other lookouts, biologists, a few people get their food there, and I don't want to have to call in for more. There should be loads of good stuff, though. Beans, prunes, jerky. You know, my sister eats six prunes a day. Six. She's, like, really precise about it. 
That'll be crap. She'd be great at this job if she didn't need wheelbarrows full of marijuana to function. <laughs> I mean, to be honest, seems like a perfect so, like, uh, like place. Oh. Two weeks ago, you called me in the middle of the night. You were sleeping, I guess, and all I heard was the name Jules through the mumbles. I just oh. thought it was so sweet. I wanted to wake you up, but then I thought maybe you were having a nice conversation and I'd just be spoiling it. I hope you're doing okay, you know, when it comes to her. Well, apparently not. I am. Good. I'm glad. Oh, uh, look. So, a couple of months before I took this job, I... <laughs> I was with this guy. Javier. Oh, he's incredible. Caring. Sexy as hell. He was a driller down in Casper. We dated for almost five years. I was working with the Wyoming Outdoor Leadership School, and... I was obsessed with it. I wanted to be an instructor so badly. And I was sure I was going to marry Javier as soon as I could be bothered. Walls was also a good excuse to get out of town, drink whiskey in the mountains, cut loose. <sighs> then, um, Javier's brother got killed working in Gillette. And <sighs> for some reason, I didn't come home. Javier said it was fine. He'd go to the funeral, take care of his mom, stuff like that. It'd be easier solo. When he came back, he left me. I came out here. I lied and told my sister he fucked our neighbor. I've just lied about it for over ten years. And, uh, for some reason, I wanted you to know. <sighs> I figured you've told me so much about you... So, you know, there's something about me. We both fucked up. Yeah, it does uh, look like it. Ah, gorgeous. Well, it looks like we're heading in the right direction. Hopefully not a granola bar. <laughs> Probably not, because we are the ones dropping off supplies this time, I think. It does seem like it. And we should be nearly there, right? Oh, there's something over here. Let's take a quick peek here. Oh, that's uh, the other supply drop that we had the other time. Unless that's the one we're going for. Is it? Oh, we're chief supplies. Whoa. Got a big zoom in. Oh yeah. Yeah, this map is pretty big. Holy crap. Old climbing gear, damage tree. Oh, those are the notes we scrambled in. Yeah, it looks like it's this one we're looking for. Right, can you put your map away please? There we go. So I guess we can uh, prematurely open this one last time. Ooh. Food for two forks. Uh, which one are we? I forgot. Uh, we are two forks, I think. Yeah. Oh, I think that's the uh, granola bar. Is it? I think it is. Right, so we are two forks. There we go. Uh, report heading home. Yeah, we might as well. All right, I got everything I need out of here. Time to chow down. Just yours, right? Who yes. do you think I am? Sixty-four. Holy crap! I'm blasting through these days. Oh. You've got a front row seat for what might be the biggest fire of the year. Yeah, it's really going. I'm gonna call it in. They'll send in a hotshot crew for some suppression, but I bet we'll be stuck with her for the rest of the summer. And 
she doesn't have a name yet. I usually think of something funny or something practical or a little risque when coming up with them. But why don't you do the honors? Sure. Uh, <laughs> Delilah. <laughs> she is no, a fire. No ideas, huh? Uh, Delilah's a nice name. <laughs> no, you big dummy. <laughs> <laughs> I was kidding. Mm, no, you were not. You're sweet, but we can't call it the Delilah Fire. Okay, what then? Mm, how about my middle name, June? The June Fire. Even though it's July. <laughs> I like it. <laughs> yeah, good enough for me. So there's this creek down the hill, and, um, you know what my favorite thing to do is? What's that? What's that? I love to take a bottle of whatever I have on hand, plunge it deep into the water, and let it chill in there all day. And then, on nights like tonight, when it is so disgustingly hot, I have something nice and cool to drink. I learned that from my sister in Santa Fe. She'd do that with a bottle of tequila near her house and make margaritas the size of your head. You'd would like it there. I guess it's a little bit hard to get ice around here. Uh, yeah, I'm not gonna flirt with her, that's I've weird. I've had one too many <laughs> bad experiences with tequila. I'm a little reticent to try it again. Well, maybe you just need a new, good experience with it. Uh, yeah, maybe. Are you looking at the fire? Yeah, I am. I love how they look at night. During the day, it's just smoke, but when the sun is down, you can just get lost. Yeah. yeah. I'm glad you're here. Me too. Good. I don't talk to the other lookouts as much as I talk to you. Not in the same way. I know it's probably been a while since you've connected with someone the way we have. <laughs> I don't mean to get all heavy, but... It's been really nice. I wish I was over there. Oh boy. <laughs> I wish you were too. Oh no, I didn't mean we to see it like outside. that. We could talk without these radios. We could, um, you know. Oh boy. <laughs> I'm curious what? though. What could we do? Okay, good. <laughs> I'm skipping ahead. It's getting a little bit awkward. You're going fishing without a license? It's one fish, and I'm sick of all the stuff I got to eat. No, well, I won't tell anyone you're a poacher. That Ooh. reminds me, I keep hearing reports from Fish and Game about a problem bear they're trying to keep tabs on. Can you search around the lake for fresh tracks and just let me know what you find? There was a crew burning fire lines out to the east, and, um, you know, I think sometimes it riles up the wildlife. Uh, okay. sure, no problem. Remember me fondly. You are such a drama queen. Ugh, <laughs> I can't believe I'm gonna leave this planet as a pile of bear shit. Thank you, Henry! That sounds yeah, horrible. Yeah, yeah, yeah. More fireworks. Let's store it. There we go. Instead of fish, I wish we had a canola bar. <laughs> I like fishing though. It's nice and relaxing. Although after like an hour or two, I'm like, eh, I'm bored. <laughs> Even though that's usually when it really uh, starts to get good. What do we have here? Wait, are these my notes? What the, uh, D, I found a clipboard down here and I, uh, there's something strange going on. At the lake? What's up? 
Someone has written down what we said to each other, have been saying. Oh. That doesn't make any sense. Uh, I don't talk to the other lookouts as much as I talk to you, not in the same way. No way. Wait, hold on. Something's out here. Oh. Henry? I'm worried. Me too. Why are we heading you to the strange nose? eat any mushrooms, did you? I mean, they can be fun, but also, you know, devastating. Regardless, just let me know, okay, buckaroo? Oh god, I don't know why I just called you that. <laughs> I'm not sure either. Did it come from here? I can tell. Can we put this away, please? Oh, well, I didn't mean to do it like that. Can we store it? Eh, there we go. Yeah, I thought the noise came from here. It doesn't seem like it. Canola bar? Uh, copy information. Here we go. Old sweater. Oh, that's a creepy ass book. Okay, let me store it. Ah, dang it. Get out of here. Got some bad news back home, so hopefully they don't let me. Uh... Interesting. Hey, we can sort that at least. No canola bar? No. Alright, so it's definitely the other way, so let's run back here. I'm not sure what this is, but it looks beautiful. So I'm guessing it came over here. Oh, there it is. <laughs> All radio. Oh my. Holy crap. Freaking jumped Henry, out of my seat almost. Are you there? I just got knocked the fuck out. Henry. I. Holy hell, I just. I got hit in the head. Punched or something by someone. Are you serious? What the hell is going on out there? I don't know. Jesus Christ. Let me get this straight. You found a clipboard with, what, transcripts of our conversations? What else is on it? I don't know. It's gone, along with a radio of theirs. You know, somebody out here could have just killed me, Delilah. I don't... What the fuck is going on? What's Wapiti Station? <laughs> I, 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 I don't know. I saw the name Wapiti Station right before I was cold cocked. Does Wapiti Station mean anything to you? Wapiti Meadow. Maybe it's Wapiti Meadow. It's it's on our maps. It's not too far from where you are right now. It's north of the lake. It, it looks like there should be a trail somewhere on the north shore of Jonesy Lake. I'll uh, I'll start hiking that way now. God damn it, my head. Are you are you sure you saw what what you saw, Henry? Maybe you pissed off some more campers and they came back to sucker punch you. Maybe. This just. Oh, this just seems like a like a misunderstanding or something. There are people listening to our conversations. The person or these people were hiding in the bushes down here. What the fuck, D? I don't know, Henry. This sounds crazy. Yeah, and you're not the one who just saw our words on a clipboard out in in the middle of nowhere. Those words were from two weeks ago. I know they were. So, what's to say that they don't have transcripts from three? Four or five weeks ago? Our entire relationship, friendship, our, our whole summer. Someone is out here with a walkie-talkie taking notes and talking to God knows who.
I'll hike out there and get some answers. Great. But just keep a clear head. Don't, you know, do anything crazy. Like taking a job in the middle of nowhere with literally no escape from whatever or whoever is out there? Well, I meant, like, kill anybody. You got it, boss. <laughs> Ooh. <clears throat> Gotta be honest, I never expected a freaking jump scare, jump scare in this game. What the heck? Rock art? <laughs> Interesting. Well, at least we're getting to the good stuff, so let's get a move on, shall we? Uh, let's see here. So there should be only one path. Why is there a second one over here? Ah, it's nothing. Damage tree. So we need some kind of axe. Alright. Uh, oh, saw something else. Fence. Whoa, Delilah, there's a big chain link fence between me and the meadow. I, I don't think I can get past it. Uh, a fence? Yeah. Yeah. How big? Big. It goes off in both directions. Acres. But what the fuck is going on out here? Whatever it is, someone doesn't want anyone to know about it. Sometimes biologists will cordon off a little area to study flora or whatever, but that's only a few square feet usually. That's not what this is. Well, see what you can do to get past it. I got an idea. Did it work? Nope. <laughs> Where's the rock go? Shall we try it again? Yeah. Come on, you're not even trying. Look, I'm not going to be able to get into this place. Oh, shit. I, I, I don't know how long I can dick around out here until someone notices. God, if you were an actual firefighter, you'd have that gate down in two shakes. Hey, actually, those guys doing the controlled burn, they might be able to help. Where are they? Beyond Ruby River, there's a scout camp. They burned a line a few days ago that should let you hike right to them. Well, that's great. If they haven't right. left, they're probably the type of guys who would help you get through that fence. Maybe we could easily climb this. There's no like barbed wire or anything. Is there? Well, those things kind of hurt, but you can take off your shirt or anything and just... Yeah, whatever. <laughs> uh, so where are we going again? All the way down there. Oh boy. Alright, let's just uh, get a nice jog in. Uh, oh yeah, we gotta get up here. There we go. Come on, you can do it. There you go. Alright, so we gotta keep following north ish? South, I mean. Is it north south? I don't know. South it is. Yeah. So we just gotta keep on heading this direction. Here we go. Duckies. Eh, I'm stuck. There we go. <laughs> Alright, so how do we get there actually? I never really seen the path going that way. Oh, it's a little rope thingy over there. Okay. So that's back here, looks like. Do 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 do. 
Oh, hey, my fishing pole. Could probably come in handy. Or did I chop it? I may have chopped it. <laughs> That's fine. Oh, got some more music. Ah, I like it. I'm wandering around east of the lake. Which way is Ruby River? It's in the southeast corner of your map. The scout camp where the firefighters were staged should be on your map. It looks like a little triangle with a flat bottom. Yeah, it looks like a tent. How did I never see that before? Oh. So down here, I'm guessing? Yep. Uh, propel. There we go. Can we go faster? Do a little jump. Oh, it looks like it. Right, let's get a move on, shall we? Left or right? Doesn't matter. Left has a supply top, so. Or is it right? I... I'm really confused. <laughs> uh, well, if anything, we'll see it. Oh, yeah, of course, we've been here before, so. There's nothing to be found here, I think. Yeah. Fair enough. Right, so it should be around here somewhere then. We should keep going. So it was past that campsite, right, that we saw the other day. Yeah, to the river, over there, blah blah blah. So just keep following the path. And we should be good to go. Boom, boom. Yep, here's the river. Then we go to like a little archway. That's a beautiful waterfall. Looking good. There should be that campsite over here. It looks like they cleaned it up. Interesting. I guess I didn't want to have anyone sniffing around out here. Is that a... <laughs> we got ourselves a floating tree. How about that? Can I report this? <laughs> That is uh, interesting. Am I going crazy? Maybe I am. Uh, now I'm disorientated. I should be here, right? Yeah. Control burn south of Ruby Lake. Jones Lake. Did I go to the wrong place? That one is called Jonesy Lake. Scout camp, Ruby River. Oh yeah, I did go the wrong way. Oh no. Oops. Um. Well, that's an issue. Medicine wheel. Uh, you know what, we're gonna cut it right here and I'll bring you guys back once uh, we're getting closer to there. <laughs> Things seem normal with everyone else. Oh. Has anything strange been happening on your end? No, nothing really. 
Nothing really or nothing? Nothing. My door was open the other night, but that's not strange. That doesn't sound like nothing. It's nothing, I promise. All right, I'm headed toward the camp anyway. Okay. Keep your radio close to you. Yeah. Hold on a second, Delilah. <laughs> Doing some climbing. Oh. I guess too late. Oh, never mind. Hey, what you just said, keep my radio close to me. Yeah? Before I got attacked back at the lake, I saw a radio on the ground. Kind of like the one I use. And? Do you think that maybe someone was, you know, uh... I don't know. What? Uh... Tailing me? Tailing me, following me around, like working with other people. Henry, you are way too much of a dope to be in the mob. Someone is clearly able to hear us sometimes and was hiding near the lake. Come on. I... I, I just... Just admit it. You're a little worried. Of course I'm worried, but let's just try to keep things calm, okay? Keep things on an even keel. All right, fair enough. Uh, hold on. Might be near the canola bar. Should be just right up here. At least I think that's the one. Oh, push this. Out of my way. So I didn't expect the, the Lila to uh, start talking all of a sudden. Uh, Alright, follow this road. I know it's a little bit off the path, but it's worth it if we find the canola bar. <laughs> I know we don't know what's going on yet, but I don't have a good feeling. I don't like feeling vulnerable. It's not like you can just call the police. I was thinking about the good ones. <gasps> Going out of bar. struck me that if anything weird like this happened to them, happened to Brian. Yes. Just how scared he would have been. I'm sure so he's, he's fine. fine, Delilah. I mean, don't you think if this started happening to them, he or his dad would have said something? I don't know, Ned. Ned was a weird guy. No, nobody is that weird. The moment you hear someone in the bushes or get punched from the shadows, you're getting your boss on the phone. Yeah. Brian is fine. I hope so. It, it was three years ago. He's in high school now. He's on summer break. Yeah, you're right. You're right. Ah, uh, we found it. <laughs> Amazing. Can we store it? Yes, we can. Oh, we just ate it. <laughs> well then. Uh, blah, blah, blah. Let's store that too. Ah, can't believe we actually found it. Sweet. Alright, so I'm guessing we have to go down south of our little tower there. But I am curious about that medicine wheel, so let's take a quick look at that if we can. Which is this direction? Maybe? I don't even know anymore. Oh, it looks like there's a side path somewhere over here. Yeah, here we go. This should be it. Ah, there it is. One of we already came across here. It doesn't look like it. Wow, there's an old, um, I think it's called a medicine wheel out here? Yeah, it was made by Crow American Indians hundreds of years ago. There are lots of small ones. Um, have you ever been to Medicine Wheel Monument over in the Bighorns? I sure haven't. Well, it's worth a three-hour detour on the way home in August. Uh, neat. I'll keep it in mind. Ah, may have a little shortcut over here.
Nope. I found where they did the controlled burn. I can hike right through here now. Yeah, normally they wouldn't do that so close to a body of water, but I think they're extra worried about a fire jumping the river and burning up to two forks now that there's someone in it. Well, I'm extra appreciative of that. <laughs> see. The scout camp is southeast of the river. There should be a pond on the way. Got it. What happens if a controlled burn gets out of control? Someone gets fired. <laughs> fired. Ugh, are you serious? Oh, come on. That one was an honest accident. <laughs> I'm not even in the mood for wordplay. That's how wound up all this shit has me. Oh, I gotta have a little bit of humor. Eh, can't have that either. This area is even more gorgeous. Ah! I keep finding more and more amazing spots here. You can imagine taking a little nice uh, chill area over here. Let's see here, so we gotta hit uh, west, or is that east? That is east, which is that direction. I guess we gotta go down first, All right, fair enough. So good. There was another supply cache though, right? Oh, I guess it's burned. Well, I might be able to still take a peek here. It's a cool, nice tree. Big tree. A ski. Can I have it? I wonder if this uh, area has snow. It would be cool to see this in the winter as well. I don't really remember which area we are in. Let's see here. Hello? Excuse me. Is that a snowmobile? It is. There's some old snowmobiles out here. That's crazy. Looks like one of the poor bastards was cruising across this pond and dumped it. That was not a fun hike back to civilization. <laughs> yeah. Uh, there's an old pond out here, not much more than a pile of mud. Uh, do, do you have it on your map? Ah, uh, yeah, I know where you are. Yeah, where am I? Pork Pond. There used to be a sign Pork up pond. for it, but, um, well, folks kept stealing it. <laughs> uh, because it's called Pork Pond? It's a good goddamn name. That sign <laughs> would look great in a den, or, you know, anywhere. Kind of want to check that supply crate real quick. Should be right over here, right? Somewhere? Yeah, here we go. Should see it any second now. There it is. Oh wow. It's beautiful. Alright, what do we got? I need all the supply crates. Toilet paper. Chain Irie. Terminal 7. Seems like some really cool books. These people have taste. 
One chance to die. Can I bring some toilet paper? No, I can't. Fair enough. Moving on. Not sure how long this episode has been going on for, but it, I imagine it's been quite a while, so... I'm gonna try to move this along a little bit more quicker. But I'm pretty sure we're also at the end of this chapter, probably, so... We should be good. Oh man, this scenery though. <laughs> Hey, I think we made it. Camp... Arapaho? Not sure what the heck that means, but... Oh. The bridge to the camp is out. Damn. I'm gonna walk the ravine and see if I can find some high ground to get across. Good plan. Good plan. That seems like a good spot. It looks like we can get all these kinds of shortcuts later on. Hmm. I guess we continue on this direction. Yeah, another one. I mean, I bet I could jump this. Doesn't seem that far. Actually, never mind. <laughs> I'm a horrible jumper. And I used to play basketball and I'm still pretty bad at it. Right, I'm um, a little lost here. So it doesn't seem like we can go this direction. Maybe over here. Oh, that's gotta be that fire that we saw the other day. Freaking huge. Uh, what is that? Is that where we have to go? Said something about the mountain. Oh. <laughs> hey, we did it. I can't believe I was standing on top of it right this whole time. I guess this must be some kind of Native American uh, kind of deal. Scout camp. I'm at the camp. Great. Have a look around. If if anyone's still there, they might be able to help. I'm gonna sound crazy. Maybe you just ask them to help you get inside the fence. If I didn't know it was out there, they probably don't either. This place looks dead, but I'll see what I can find. Yeah, it's gotta be something. You ever talked to any of the scouts? Mm, no, they haven't been out here in a while, and I generally don't have a lot to say to preteens. Unless it's Brian Goodwin. Well, if forced, I mean, I can make conversation with anyone. Plus, it was sort of fun to hear about all of his nerdy hobbies. <laughs> I mean, he, he wasn't a scout or a weeble or whatever? I got the sense that boy could barely tie his shoes, let alone a clove hitch. What the hell's a clove hitch? Ah, uh, well, it's a knot that you are probably too old and too stubborn to learn. You use it to make rafts and shelters and stuff like that. Huh. You know how to tie one? Heck no. I'd make a weeblow do it. <laughs> Fair enough. There are bear traps out here in the scout shelters. Scouts are stalwart prey. That's messed up. It is. Yeah, these guys are gone. I found where they were sitting around before getting picked up. Damn. Hmm. Memo. Hey, D, they left something behind. It's uh, like a memo from their boss. Did it say anything of note? Uh, 
next few days dropping into the thoroughfare on behalf of Dr. Simmons at Wapiti Station. Wapiti Station? Holy crap. Keep reading. Oh, I just thought I would maybe, you know, stop there, let the mystery percolate. My mother always said I would need someone to give me a taste of my own medicine. <laughs> They're running a research site out there. Uh, he was worried about wildfires. Someone is writing down our conversations. And now we find out there's a research site out here that, that, that we don't know about? What are they researching? I don't know. Horned toads? And you and I aren't very interesting. Oh, you know, probably just horned toads. And a Wapiti Station clipboard with our conversations on it is just... What, recreation for them? I'm just messing around. Somebody is obviously up to something. <laughs> I'm freaking out here. At least we know there is something real happening behind that fence. I think that we should consider that maybe this is all just a coincidence, but my gut says that there is something bad going on. Mine too. Okay. So what's next? Well, I've got an axe, so I can figure out a way to get over the ravine and back towards the site. Sounds good. Check in when you can, and... Keep an eye out for anyone following you. Will do. Alright, I think we explored just about everything over here. So I'd say let's uh, move on again. This particular uh, chapter has taken a little bit longer than I anticipated, but hopefully we'll still be fine. Come on. Timber! Nice. There we go. Do hey we wanna... There. Oh. I, I had a thought. Let's hear it. You heard someone in the bushes. Yeah. Okay, so let's assume we're being tailed. Or you are. At least, where are you right now? Just on my way back, in and out of trees, in the middle of nowhere. Do you see anybody? No, definitely not. All right, so uh, tell me what you think of this. <coughs> Did you just cough? No. Did you just cough? No. Oh, no. Oh, fuck. fuck. Um... There isn't any way someone, like, another lookout could be on this line, is there? No. Not without tapping our radios. Get in your tower, shut the door. Don't leave and don't use your radio. I'll call you. Understand? I will call you. Ooh. <laughs> I was getting a bit nervous there. Thoroughfare Tower, this is Two Forks calling you for the, oh, 50th time today. The June fire continues to move in a southerly fashion. Delilah, for fuck's sake, answer your radio. Hello, sunshine. Oh. Sorry, went out for a little bit. What can I do you for? You sound cheerful. I didn't sleep a wink last night, and I've been going crazy for the past six hours of sunup. How are you so chipper? Well, it's a new day. What a day, this day we've been given. Maybe I am actually asleep right now. Maybe I didn't stay up all night knowing that someone is... I actually slept just great. Uh, okay. By the way, I was wondering if your flora of the Shoshone info poster was still up inside your tower? What? It's just protocol that those stay up. You know, info about your tower, the surrounding tree species, etc. Uh, uh, all right. Just, you know, have a look at it. Make sure it's in ship shape. Okay. <laughs> Save game. Come on. Save quicker. <laughs> So yeah, I think it's a good time to wrap up this episode since the days are a little bit all over the place and I have no idea what's going on and it's just plot thickens and all that stuff. So <laughs> I 
I'm gonna call this video here today guys, so if you end up enjoying the video, please leave a like and comment if you want. And also if you're new here and you wanna see more, make sure to subscribe. Alright, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye bye.